Askula's Activation. What a name. Luvia Edifelt. Is that from Fairy Tale? Juvia? Is everyone all right? Good here, boss. Let no foe through. Solidify defenses in the rear, rear, rear guard and prioritize the escape of children and the elderly. Why is Ratso so redneck? Because his lines are redneck. And let's put some distance between us and the Imperial Army while we can. Yeah, if they show up again, things can get pretty hairy pretty quick. And you know, I know a lot about pretty hairy situations because I got a lot of hair, you know what I mean? Cleo said our foes are called androids. If rhymes are denied, which is totally what they're making me. Androids are weapons created by the Darnell Empire some 300 years ago in order to slay dragons. Oh, because he got the ears, because he looks like a fox man. I take it they're not actually human despite all outside appearances? Correct. I'm not especially knowledgeable on the subject, but apparently they are a type of magical weapon. Androids do not grow tired or feel pain. They have no souls. They are soulless soldiers whose only purpose is to carry out the orders of the one who commands them. Yes, we must kill them unconditionally. They have no families to go back to. There's a lot to take in. Here I was all ready to bring on androids, and now I kind of feel sorry for them. They're not an enemy soft enough for us to afford sympathy. Yeah, better not to have any illusions here. We ain't fighting men or even fiends. These things are just, uh, fail things. Uh, I don't like reducing our enemy to a uh, thing, but I suppose that may be what we had to do to win this fight. Regardless, our first priority has to be to getting the villagers to safety. <laughs> How did I know I find you idiots standing around debating morality instead of doing the smart thing and running away? <laughs> oh, he's got a whole harem of androids. Who knows what he's doing with an android? It's Emil and his androids! It is indeed, and today, my dear brother, is the day you finally meet your doom! No mercy, no quarter, no dime, no nickel, no penny, no dollar. As your final breath escapes your pathetic shattered form, you will know that I, the mighty Emil, have been the instrument of your demise. That's rich considering we've been the ones sparing your life over and over. The weakest dog barks allowed us, dragon. But since you clearly lack the faculties to uh, the grasp, grasp the situation you find yourself in, permit me to enlighten you. Go, androids, crush these wretches. Affirmative, commencing operation. Get ready, everyone. Damn it, I hate these stupid things. I can't read their movements at all. There's a shady beware. Oh, oh here he is, yeah. Oh, they're truly removed to motion or any discernible rhythm. We can't approach them like typical human opponents. I don't even know what voice I'm giving Alex. Yeah, I guess we'll have to wing it, you know? We can't allow them to pass, or they will slaughter all of the villagers to a man, woman, and child. You know, Alex, why do you have a different voice every time? We can't hold these guys up forever! We gotta speed up evacuation! We're trying to clear the village with old folks and kids, Luca! It's not exactly the quickest process in the world! J just sold out a little longer, everyone! <laughs> Look at those fools. Look how delightfully desperate they are when scurrying to and fro. Truly, this is the natural order of things. The superior being, me, has taken charge of the lesser. But alas, it is time for this pathetic display to come to an end. Soldiers, bring me my special androids. Oh, yo, are we going to see Android 18, 19, and 21 and 20? You mean these two? Oh, well, we got 2B and 1B. Or is it 3B? According to Chell, these two are even stronger than the rest of their kind. They're apparently quite the handful, but which is why they have been kept dormant, but no willful android can stand against the might and majesty of Emil. Oh, 9S. Let's start with this one, shall we? Awaken my killing machine. Checking condition, condition clear. Checking Orcus system, system clear. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the guy talking. Um, 
uh, Mascula activating in standard mode. Is that your name? Mascula? That's kind of a weird name, but affirmative. Very well, Mascula. I order you to kill every single one of those miserable, scurrying wretches over there. Kill every single one. In extermination order, I know he no Ino Ino Yamanaka from Naruto. Seconds elapsed. Nine million four four five five nine. Wait, that's nine billion four hundred forty-four five thousand zero three. Tur da, uh, I uh, I'm shutting down. <laughs> and even now, the fighting continues. Hey, you there, do less. Whatever it is that you're doing, and start killing already. Negative. I will not fight, and I will not let anyone else fight either. What? We need a new plan here, guys. These androids just keep coming. It's 299 and a half years. What is that? What's the significance of that? What the hell? Enough, my brethren. There's no longer any need for us to fight. Huh? Why do you sound like Sylvester Stallone all of a sudden? You are an obstacle to this operation. Commencing elimination. Then I know have eh, that I have no other choice. Look, the Andrew stop moving! I disabled part of it that receives orders. The bad wheels control a little bit. It will be immobile for some time. Hey, what's up, Vipai? What? So you saved us? But you're an android! Android do I wish to fight, but I'm sure don't really does. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, fighting's really just a last resort. Oh, they're active 300 years. Exactly. So please, add over your weapons. Huh? You fight because you have weapons. Therefore, we must get rid of weapons. Please give them to me. Look, friend, we just can't over all our weapons in the middle of a hay. Give it to me now. Was Masky always super manly? <laughs> no. Blah! Okay, but what's the heck up with him? That was awful. Hey, Luca. Hey, Ranzo, man, uh, did you see what that, uh, wait, where'd your ass go? <laughs> Funny story, some weird android came racing by and, uh, yanked it out of my hand. I got no idea what that about. Oh, <laughs> the sleep police? Yeah, he was saying, uh, Vipi, sure you go to bed soon? Saying a bunch of stuff about not wanting to fight or have his fight. I think he did say anything to all Imperials, too. So, he's a pacifist, then? There are pacifist androids? Uh, well, in any case, this will allow us to put some miles between us and the Imperials. Let's retreat while we still can. <laughs> Why you forget your wallet and start? What did that bucket of balls do? That stupid android took matters into his own pathetic hands, which allowed my brother and his bothersome band of bloviators blo to escape me yet again. Someone bring me my pathetic brother so I can kill him with my own two hands. Oh, man. 